हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द डिटेल्स अबाउट सेंसर्स ट्रांसर्स एंड एक्चुएटर्स द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द सेंसर और वी कैन से दैट the classification of the transducer we know that sensor or transducer are the input device to any instrumentation system and depending upon many aspect it can be classified such as the transducers or sensors are classified into two types active and passive transducer or sensor or primary or secondary transducer or sensor transducer or inverse transducer the next type is analog or digital sensor or transducer or the transducer also classified based on the transductions it has three types resistive capacitive and inductive okay there are many types but we have to study only the active and passive type of transducer let's see what is the difference between active and passive sensors or transducers let's see the definition of active transducer or sensor the sensor which do not need any external power supply for their operation is called as self generating type or active sensor transducer that means it is very simple the sensor which does not require any external power supply for their operation hence it is called as self generating type or active sensor transducer while the passive sensors are the sensor which requires external power supply for their operation is called as passive sensors or transducers we can again see here the sensor which does not require any external power supply for its operation is called as active sensor while the sensor which requires external power supply for its operation is known as passive sensor here the active sensor does not need any external power supply hence these are self generating sensors or transducers while the passive sensors requires external power supply for their operation hence these are not self generating sensors or transducers for the operation these sensors or transducers depends on the external power supply i hope you got the basic difference between active sensor and passive sensor the active sensor produces voltage or current proportional to the physical quantity to be measured while the passive sensor produces variation in the resistance capacitance or inductance in response to the physical quantity to be measured that means the output of the or the active sensor gives voltage or current change while the passive sensor gives the changes in resistance capacitance and inductance the examples of active sensors are thermocouple photocell piezoelectric sensor etc while the examples of passive sensors are thermistor ldr lvdt phototransistor etc i hope you all understand the difference between active sensor and passive sensor let's see once again the active sensor means the sensor the sensor which do not need any external power supply for its operation is known as self generating or active sensor while the sensor which requires external power supply for their operation is called as passive sensors or transducers now let's see the next point specifications of the sensor the first specification is accuracy the accuracy of a sensor 
is the maximum difference that will exist between the standard value and the indicated value at the output of the sensor okay this is the definition of the accuracy for example we can say that the temperature of the boiling water we know that it is a zero sorry it is 100 degree celsius okay and if we measure this temperature with the thermometer and the thermometer gives us the reading 99.9 degree celsius then we can say that the thermometer is 99.9 degree or percent accurate okay i hope you all understand the definition accuracy now the next specification is range the range of a sensor is a maximum and minimum values of applied parameters that can be measured for example a given thermometer may have the range between 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius the thermometer has the range 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius that means this thermometer can measure the temperature up to 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius this is 0 to 100 is the range of the specific thermometer okay i hope you all understand the next specification is linearity Linearity is a graphical representation between its input and output as a straight line. That is, any change in the input produces same changes in the output. The relation between input and output must be linear. That means, this is the actual input-output relation curve, which is a straight line okay but in practically it is not possible because as the input changes sometimes the output changes or not hence we get this type of input output relation okay here is this is the error okay this is the error from the straight line i hope you all understand the linearity specification the next specification is error the algebraic difference between the measured value and the actual value or true value is called as error we know that the temperature of the boiling water is 100 degree celsius and if we place thermometer in it and measure the temperature of the liquid if the thermometer shows us the 99 degree celsius that means there is total 1 percent 1 degree celsius error how it is calculated the standard value is 100 degree celsius minus the measured value is 99 degree celsius the difference gives us 1 degree celsius this 1 degree celsius is the error okay the next specification is sensitivity. The sensitivity is defined as the minimum input of a physical parameter that will create detectable output change. The smallest input gives us the some kind of output is called as sensitivity. Or the sensitivity is also defined as the change in output response divided by the input response okay this is the definition of sensitivity the next specification is resolution the re resolution is defined as the smallest measurable change in the output that can be detected in the output signal or resolution is defined as the ability of the sensor to detect small difference in the reading okay that means in other words we can say that the resolution is the specification which gives when if we apply very small input and we get its proportional output okay this is called as the resolution 
The next specification is reproducibility. This is the ability of a sensor to repeat a measurement when put back in the same environment. That means if we measure a temperature of boiling water then it gives us the 100 degree Celsius temperature. After one hour again if we measure the temperature of the same water then it should give again 100 degree Celsius temperature. Okay. This is known as the reproducibility. Okay. The reproducibility is the ability of a sensor to repeat the measurement when put back in the same environment. This is the reproducibility. I hope you all understand the types of the sensor or transducer that means the active sensor and the passive sensor and the specification of the transducer or sensor. Thank you.